we have this assumption that a mobile GPU is a lot slower compared to their desktop counterparts. While that is true to some extent, there are instances where the mobile version performs close, if not the same as the desktop counterpart. We're even at the point where mobile chips intended for laptops are being converted into desktop GPUs. Case in point, this GPU right here. This is the Isurix RX 6600M where the M stands for mobile. And yes, this is a laptop GPU converted into a desktop GPU. Asurix sent this in for review, so today we're going to take a look if the mobile version can really breach the desktop level performance. And don't worry, even if this was a review unit and we get to keep it afterwards, Asurix had no influence in the script writing and contents of this video. Let's start. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. They are your one-stop shop for Windows Operating System CD keys and Microsoft Office CD keys. Being a PC builder, I'm always in need of Operating System CD keys and I personally buy those CD keys on GVG Mall. And they're currently running their May Big Sale which can save you up to 88% off on selected items. But here's a special offer for our viewers. Use our code JEGS on your checkout to save another 25% off your purchase. Their items are 100% legit and they offer 24-7 support on their website. Check them out in the description below. Now back to the video. At first glance, you wouldn't even think this box has a GPU inside of it. A Surix definitely chose a unique design for this box, but in my opinion, more labels would have helped because you really can't identify what GPU was inside the box aside from the small item code at the back. The packaging inside is standard, but surprisingly, they included a 6-pin to 8-pin cable just in case your power supply doesn't natively support an 8-pin cable, I guess. Now to the GPU itself, it's very sturdy with its plastic shroud and fans. It also has a plastic backplate, which is very nice considering the RX 6600 I have doesn't come with one. As to the display output, it has three display ports and one HDMI port. As for the technical specs of this card, here are the numbers Asurix provides on their Shopee page. Now let's dive into the gaming performance. On our 15 game test suite, the RX 6600M was very close to the performance of its desktop counterpart. On average, we only saw a 5-7% difference of FPS in both 1080p and 1440p. And by the way, we have a separate video comparing the RX 6600M against the RX 6600, complete with all of the games tested, no voiceovers, just gameplay with the stat overlay. The complete specs of the test bench and game settings is also shown there, so if you're interested in seeing that, a link to the video will be down in the description. As to the power consumption, just a quick note, the entire RX 6000 series GPUs only monitor chip wattage instead of the total board wattage of the GPU. And the RX 6600M is no exception. This is the reason we only monitored an average of 80 watts on the RX 6600M and 100 watts on the regular RX 6600. Their total power consumption should be around 100 watts and 120 watts respectively. For the temperatures, the Asurix RX 6600M doesn't have the zero fan speed on idle, which is a bummer to be honest. Bruh. But on full load, the Asurix RX 6600M was actually cooler than the power caller RX 6600 fighter we tested. This is mostly because of the faster fan speed the Asurix card was running at, which by the way, we were not able to set any fan curve on. Fan speed support on the card was literally non-existent but a Surix is not to be blamed for this. Upon doing some research on the issue, this is more of an issue on AMD's side of things. On the newer versions of their drivers, they removed the overclocking and fan adjustment support for the mobile version of the RX 6600. And even using different software like MSI Afterburner and the fan control app won't let you adjust the fan speeds. But I was able to figure out two ways in order to adjust the fan speed. Number one is to flash the BIOS of the RX 6600M into a desktop RX 6600. This will result in the Radeon app recognizing the card as a desktop RX 6600 and the app will now let you overclock and adjust the fan speed of the card. But proceed with caution on this one as it's possible that you might break your card. 
There are a lot of tutorials on how to do this on YouTube, so watch those first. Number two is using version 23.2.1 of the Radeon drivers. Like I said, Radeon previously allowed overclocking and fan speed adjustments on the RX 6600M, so just revert to this version of the drivers and you should be able to adjust the fan speed. Now, I'm not entirely sure if every Asurix RX 6600M comes with this very aggressive fan curve of 3500 RPM on full load, which by the way, this is what it sounds like. So if you're an Asurix RX 6600M user, please let me know if you have the same experience. Aside from the fan speed issues of this card, I had a flawless experience testing this unit. It's just your typical GPU. And for transparency, I tested this card for only a total of 7 days, so I really can't make a comment about its lifespan, which most of you watching are probably concerned about. But I can say Asurix was really fast in responding to my questions, and their technical support actually offered to replace the card after I emailed them about the aggressive fan curve. When I replied I'm just going to deal with it as is, they insisted on replacing the card even more. And on their Shopee page, they currently have a 5,100 five-star reviews, and I can see they actually reply to every one-star review, offering a replacement on defective items. So take that info as you will. As to the pricing, the Asurix RX 6600M currently sells for 10,199 Philippine pesos, while the cheapest RX 6600 I could find was selling for 13,190 pesos, making the RX 6600M better in terms of FPS per peso, meaning you get more out of the money you paid. With all of that said, we are left with one more question. Should you buy it? Given Acerix is not a well-known brand yet, there are a lot of users who exercise caution in buying their products, and that's completely fair. But given that their customer support is very responsive and they offer product replacement, this tells me they value their reputation and their customers, which is great to see on any brand. So it is true that there's a risk in buying this card, but personally, I'm willing to take that risk. So that's it for our review of the Asurix RX 6600M. If you're a user of this card, please let me know your experience with it. Gano mo nakatagal ginagamit yung card, anong issues mga na-encounter mo, and all that stuff. Leave a comment down, and if you're interested in getting one for yourself, Lazada and Shopee links will be in the description. Check them out. See you in the next video.